Breaking news from Oddworld at 8. Playing hot potato with turnips? New Horizons residents Tom Nook could be facing up to 10 years in prison for a scandal that has rocked the nation. Our leading correspondent, Marianne Corr, has more on the story. Mary? That's right, counterfeit turnips and whispers of underground villager trafficking. I'm standing in front of the Nook residence live with local secretary assistant Isabel, who might be able to shed light on this devastating story. Isabel, how has this tragedy devastated your village? <laughs> Once upon a time ago, newspapers were the world's primary source of being up to date with the latest happenings in our local towns and villages, and was our most trusted and accurate medium to stay connected with the world around us, right up until the invention of radio and then the television and so on and so forth killed the radio star, you know what I'm saying? I remember when I was in the sixth grade, I would read the newspaper like every morning and I would come to class first thing in the morning with, you know, the local news as kind of a show and tell to the rest of the class. Like, you don't understand. I legitimately enjoyed reading the newspaper. When I was a kid, I was this bizarre level of Rod and Todd from The Simpsons meets Frasier and his brother Niles level of poised. I was super homeschooled and super humble. And I was very studious and I just, I just really liked to read. And then one day, a kid in the class made fun of me for reading the newspaper and I never came to class with news ever again. But luckily, after a while, everyone stopped reading the newspaper, so I guess it's Gucci, right? Sure, physical newspaper publications still exist, but in the last 30 years, it's seen a pretty steep decline in ad revenue in favor of online media. Holy shit, what's the deal with this crap? <laughs> A lot of people would rather watch the news on television or even online. We have so many news outlets that have switched over from physical to digital distribution. News sites now have the articles right on the page, even with a corresponding video, because who doesn't want to watch a video? Reading? Ugh. Why do you even have the transcribed audio down there? Nobody's gonna read it. I, I read it. But let me tell you, children have a place where traditional newspapers still exists. A place where the newspapers are continually appreciated and serve their own unique purpose. It's video games. But despite this steep decline in the real world, even in 2020, newspapers continually seem to show up here and there to be used in the world of gaming. Newspapers have been present in video games as early as the times of arcade gaming in the mid-80s. Think back to titles like the 1980s game Paperboy, where you basically deliver papers and fight crime? You collect paper stacks and deliver them to all the houses on the block, all while stopping petty theft and unruly breakdancers by throwing newspapers as your weapon of choice. Watch out, paper boy! Looks like you've got competition. Since its early, more simplistic usage in retro games, the function and purpose of newspapers have vastly evolved in modern gaming. In some titles, they serve as a device used to progress a story. They could be deadly weapons or something as simple as a collectible to unlock more achievements. I can come up with a ton of different games that all share some similarities when using newspapers. I mean, perhaps the most obvious game to come to mind would be Spider-Man for the PS4 with the infamous Daily Bugle newspaper that sort of made a name for itself within pop culture. <laughs> There's 53 articles in total that can be collected from red newspaper dispensaries scattered throughout the city, and they unlock depending on how far along players have progressed through the game. While you can't read the actual articles themselves, you can, however, read the headlines that all tie in with the current events of the game. Somewhat expanding on the function of collectibles in Spider-Man, in Dead Rising, they take a slightly different angle to collecting articles. Each headline from the Williamette Mysteries you retrieve reveals little bits of info about the city, acting like puzzle pieces, Frank will gain points for each of the clues collected, gaining bonus points for every mystery successfully solved. And this can be done through simply finding and collecting different newspapers, similar to Peter Parker with Frank West being a journalist, including newspapers into the mix seems to be pretty on brand with the character. But more importantly, these things double as deadly weapons. No time like the present. Ha! 
paper delivery! There's even a handful of collectible newspapers found in Hotline Miami too, where retrieving all 10 will award you the extra extra read all about it trophy. These papers can all be found hidden in the intros and outros of chapters before missions, so you've got plenty of time to read these at your own leisure. Other news publications can provide backstory and deeper subtext, and are essential to a story's progression and gameplay. For example, in Detroit Become Human, you're required to collect all the newspaper headlines, and these headlines often relate to what is surrounding the essential characters you're taking control of during gameplay. The news headlines sort of piece together the story in a way without shoving a bunch of exposition down your throat. You're able to be aware of what's happening in the character's environment and what potential news could be affecting their behaviors without having to sit through some long and stretched out narrative. It's sort of just subtly dropped in and helps to set the mood. All six of these publications are essential to better understanding the climate, social structure, and political framing of futuristic Detroit. In games like Ally Noir, you're also required to collect newspapers, and these newspapers are essential to triggering backstory cinematics, in turn helping you progress throughout the game. The Los Angeles Inquisitor is the primary publication in this series, and these 13 newspapers can be accessed during the regular storyline cases. While you don't receive any trophies for unlocking them, these papers are vital sources of information that circulate around key events in the game. The cinematics that are triggered from these papers all contain pertinent backstory information that puts better context to certain events in the game. And some publications are merely sprinkled in to create more of an immersive experience. And they can also help with the game's lore, whether it be through more overt or subtle means. One really base simplistic example of this would be the papers found in Resident Evil Outbreak. In this game, the newspaper serves a pretty basic function. It isn't really a collectible per se, but the single article that you can pick up and read does provide an investigative report made by the Raccoon City Police Department about the zombie invasion on Raccoon City. We also get to see a little glimpse of the true nature of Arcadia Bay through newspaper clippings in the Life is Strange games. The game includes several publications such as the Black Hole Totem, Arcadia Bay Beacon, and the Independent. Many of these clippings highlight the weird mysteries plaguing Arcadia Bay. I mean, with the game itself being an episodic choose-your-own-outcome adventure series, a lot of these articles reveal information that may be crucial to a player's decision-making at a later point in time. It also does a decent job at going over some of the weird phenomenon in the town. Rumors about the Vortex Club, possible hints regarding the disappearance of certain crucial characters, and even provides us with more insight on the deeper and true insidious nature of some of the town residents. And the last game I can think of that offers some great backstory through news publications are all the papers available in the Bioshock games. You've got the Rapture Standard, the Rapture Tribune, the Rapture Daily Post, Do Tell, and also Heller News. All there to keep the people of the city entertained and in the know. Each paper offered an interesting look into the lifestyle, social structure, and economy of life inside the Rapture. Then we have what, in my opinion, is by far one of the best usages for news publications in games, and that's when newspapers are used to foster a strong sense of realism and create more of an immersive experience, which is literally all of the newspapers found in the Grand Theft Auto games. GTA 5 more specifically because it's the most recent of the titles and by far the most expansive and open world rockstar game thus far. Oh my god, there are so many newspapers in the Grand Theft Auto universe. You've got the Daily Globe, the Daily Rag, Naturist News, the San Andreas Post, the Vice City Inquirer, Los Santos Meteor, I could go on. There's just so many. And they all serve the same purpose of creating more depth and realism within the universe and it works pretty well. For example, you can buy stocks in the Daily Globe newspaper. Sometimes newspapers will even reveal plot points occurring in the story mode portion of the game, or you'll find reports on heists, stakeouts, and missions you've completed in the online portion. Heck, a lot of these are just crude and self-aware parodies of actual newspapers and tabloids, and can provide the player with a good laugh above anything else. If you think they put an insane amount of detail in something as minuscule as newspapers, you should check out the game's TV stations, virtual websites, sites and radio stations. Did I mention this is like the best game ever? And pretty unique to all the other usages on this list, some papers can be used as a gameplay feature. In Hitman Blood Money, for example, papers are shown at the end of every mission displaying police reports of players' progress, including features like their rating, number of kills, and what weapon they use the most, and other little easter eggs. While in the Red Dead series, newspapers serve somewhat of an interactive menu function to help you 
navigate throughout the games. These papers are pretty vital to the series, and specifically in papers like the Brimstone Epitaph, these papers display the player's statistics after completing each chapter, buy a newspaper for a dollar, and gain access to side missions, ambient events, and get special reports on game events all associated with the player's choice in-game. And finally, sometimes newspapers can be just as junky as they are to people in real life. In the Fallout games, newspapers aren't so much collectibles as much as they are old junk items and ancient relics. A lot of these newspapers are damaged and yellowed due to exposure and old age, with a lot of the stories, aside from the headlines, left virtually unreadable. Some of these junk items can even be scrapped to obtain cloth. The Capital Post, however, is one of the few standout publications that offers a small glimpse into what the world was like pre-war times, where it discusses things like the disbanding of the UN and information about the new superweapon of the US Army. So we have a long list of games that all seem to incorporate newspapers as if they were like smartphones or something. So why is this happening? Why are we using this arguably archaic technology in our video games? Why even bother with the newspaper? Why not use like a phone or a laptop or computer or some sort of digital prompt that's not stuck way in the past? Why are we using old technology in our new games? Why don't just have the character browse the internet like we do in real life? That's realistic, right? Well, in a bizarre twist of events, adding old technology can actually make a game more real and more grounded to reality than if we implemented modern devices. I'm gonna try to make sense, but hopefully this makes sense and I don't come off looking, you know, dumb, stupid, and dumb. I think that because we're living in an increasingly digital world, to sort of ground us and make us feel as though we're more placed in reality, they need to throw something physical at us to contrast it from the fact that you're playing a virtual game. Does that make sense? Because it made sense to me at the time. Like, let's throw in an ancient relic in here to remind these gamers that the game is connected to physical reality. Even though there are a handful of games where the character has access to the internet, it's entirely possible to attain that form of reality within a game, but it's just not the same with a legitimate print item. Whatever this mind trick is, it's somehow less impactful than a character picking up a paper, like a real-life non-digital object. It doesn't matter that we barely read newspapers anymore, it's the fact that newspapers are now considered less resourceful. They're a handcrafted artifact of time gone unchanged, and because of this, more grounded in reality. Thus, making the simulation of realism feel, in fact, more real and less digital. Okay, I need to stop now because I was really trying to make sense of this, but I feel like the more I dig into it, the more lost I get. Anyways, video games. They're cool. Bye.